Hello everyone, my name is Janar and this is a video masterclass in crocheting a small bag with a chess pattern. The size of the bag 26 by 18 cm. In this lesson we will look at the option of a zipper without the lining. And there will also be a separate video zipper with a lining. And also we will have a video on how to make a crocheted strap for a bag. Follow my instruction and you will be able to crochet this bag in several hours. I wish you a pleasant crochet. We need materials. Polyester cord, altin or another type of cord, in a skein of 100 meters, thread thickness of 3 mm, two skeins, one white and white black, crochet hook number 4, and also half rings of 20 mm, two pieces, strap hook two pieces or a chain with hooks 120 cm. Zipper, 30 cm and lining fabric. Prepare the yarn. Dissolve the yarn from the skin and take the white color. Leave the tip of the yarn 5 cm and cast on 29 air loops. Ok, it's done. We are crocheted 29 air loops. Crochet the first row. Skip first and second stitch. Insert the hook into the back loop of the third stitch and make one double crochet. Crochet two more double crochet in the following stitches. We got three double crochet. Now we are adding black yarn. Close the last stitch in black yarn. Next crochet, 3 double crochet black yarn in the following 3 stitches. At the same time, insert the hook into the rear half loops. Hold the white yarn and pass it inside the stitches. 1 2 and 3. And close the last stitch with white color. Now make 3 double crochet in white color. Close the last stitch in black color. Continue crocheting like this until the end of the row. Now we are done. And now we need to crochet the side stitches. Close the last stitch in black color. Let's count. We should have one. 2, 3, 4, 5 sc square of white color and 1, 2, 3, 4 square of black color. Make two air loop in black color.
левую нитку придерживаем. И теперь здесь повторим. Then crochet 3 double crochet in black color. Close the last stitch of white color. Crochet three double crochet into one base in the corner in white color. Close the last stitch of black color. Keep crocheting three double crochet in black color. Кончик нити проходит внутри петелек. Продолжаем, вяжем теперь белым. И теперь вяжем также только вот за эти передние. Continue crocheting and alternate white and black colors. Значит, здесь черный, здесь черный, значит, здесь белый. И продолжаем так вязать до уголка. We are done, we crochet it until the end of the row. Получается, здесь у нас черный цвет. Черную нитку вперед, закрываем белым цветом. Make a three double crochet into the corner in one base. One, two, and three. Close in black color, and then three double crochet. In black color, one, two, three. Получается, мы связали с вами Three double crochet in white color to the corner in one base. And we continue to crochet on the second side alternated colors. Вот по этой стороне один, два. Здесь вводим крючок уже под под оба полостежка. Три. Провязываем теперь вот до этого угла. Закончила. Окей, okay, we have finished, and now we need to make three double crochet of white color to the corner. И теперь осталось связать вот здесь на уголке три белых. Один, два, три. Закрываем этим же цветом. И вот здесь make one slip stitch to the first stitch. Вводим крючок в вершину первого столбика. And then make two A loops of white color. И затем сразу две воздушные петельки для подъема следующего ряда. Вот у нас готовая донышко сумочки. Окей, let's measure the bottom. The size of the bottom is 24 by 5 centimeter. 
Next, we will crochet the walls of the bag. Okay, we have raised the next row. Now we need to crochet three stitches of each color, alternating colors. And here is such an easy way to unwind the yarn. If your yarns are tangled, then uh, twist the work. First we need to crochet three double crochet of white color. And then three double crochet of black color without disgraces. And continue crocheting until the end of the row, alternating colors. Здесь вяжем уже без прибавок, просто над всеми квадратиками провязываем три петельки другого цвета. Так по кругу. Это будет первый ряд, стенку, сумки. Продолжаем. Итак, заканчиваем. Окей, okay, we are done. We have crocheted this row. And now we need to close the row. Make one slip stitch to the first stitch. И теперь соединяю ряд. Вот эти две петельки воздушные пропускаю. Хожу крючок под верхушку первого столбика. Делаю соединитель. And then two A loops of black color для подъема следующего ряда. Пока оставим. Давайте посмотрим, что у нас получается. And here we can see how the walls of the back rise. И один ряд стенки сумки. Вот так. And continue crocheting for nine more rows. Нам количество рядов. Без убавок и прибавок чередуя. And alternate colors over black, white and over white, black. Продолжаем вязание в конце этого. Окей, okay, we finished. We crocheted nine more rows, and uh, we should have ten rows of the walls. This is eighteen centimeter from bottom. And now we need to attach the half rings. The first we determine where we will put the half rings. Fold the back in half and you will see two even sides at the edges and put half rings there. First we need to close the previous row. And I will crochet only black color, make one slip stitch in one A loop. Это уже меньше, чем пол мотка. И начинаю вязание последнего ряда. Сначала провязываю воздушную петельку. Теперь провязываю столбиками без накида. Одну петлю. И далее привязываю пол. Attach the half ring in front of the work. Then use four stitches to crochet the half rings to the bag. And next we continue crocheting 32 single crochet. Теперь продолжаю вязание, провязываю столбиками без накида до следующего, до следующей стороны, где мне нужно привязать полуколечко. 
Продолжаем вязание. Окей, мы финиш, мы крошет 32 сингл кроше. И then we are crocheting the second half ring. Attach a half ring in front of the work and crochet four single crochet. И продолжаю оставшиеся 32 петельки. 31 здесь одна у меня уже. Continue crocheting. 32 single crochet. Окей, okay, we finished. And now we need to cut the tip of the yarn and close the last row. Pull the tip of the yarn from the loop. Insert the hook under first stitch. Pull the working yarn and return the yarn to the middle of the last stitch. Hide the tip of the yarn into the stitches. Okay, we finished. And now we need to sew the zipper to the bag. I took a 26 cm zipper. We sew each side separately by hand. Attach the zipper inside the bag and pick it with pins. Take a sewing thread of the same color as the yarn. For me, it is black. And sewing by hand with short stitches. Make stitches back and forth in order to sew the zipper firmly. And try to sew that the stitches were not visible. Continue sewing until the end. Pin up the second side of the zipper and sew the second side of the zipper in the same way as on the other side. We finished, we sew the zipper to the back and our back is ready. And now we need to attach the chain to the purse. And we have a several ways to make the chain longer or shorter. I have a chain of 120 centimeter and if I hook it with hook on half rings 
it will be a long chain. We can also thread the chain into a half ring and attach the hook on the chain to first half ring. Then it will be a short chain of 60 cm. The size of the bag is 26 by 18 cm. I hope this masterclass was useful for you. Share your work on Instagram and see you again. Нижнее подчеркивание НК. Всего хорошего. До свидания.